Maggie! <laughs> Tilt your head. <laughs> Can I vacuum in there, yeah? You know, I think there's more than enough suction going on in that room. Why don't you give him some privacy? Niles, I'm performing a very important function. I'm watching out for her father. <laughs> yeah, the minute Mr. Sheffield comes walking through that front door, I'll just shift right into my nanny shtick. <laughs> Maggie, you're too young, yada yada. Wow, would you look at the way she tilts her head? You know, I tilt it back. Oh, gee, Niles, that abdominizer I bought you is really paying off. <clears throat> <laughs> Not that your body could ever compare with Mr. Sheffield's. You're so handsome and young. Gonna do with that girl? She's completely out of control. Maybe I should hire another nanny to watch her. Well, you know that would really free me up a lot. To Miss do. Fine. <laughs> Look, I'm very concerned about Margaret. She has three weeks of winter vacation coming up, and I don't want her spending the entire time on that couch kissing some boy. Oh, why don't you do what my father did when I entered my makeout years? Mm -hmm. He walked into the den and he spliced into the neighbor's cable. And. <laughs> We haven't seen him since. Miss Fine. Oh, Mrs. Sheffield, she's going to be 17. I mean, all she's doing is kissing. It's not as if she's running out of the house to meet some wild drifter who's picking her up on a motorcycle. <laughs> Gotta go, that's my date. She was working in a bridal shop in Flushing, Queens, till her boyfriend kicked her out in one of those crushing scenes. What was she to do? Where was she to go? She was out on her fanny. So over the bridge from Flushing to the Sheffield's door, she was there to sell makeup, but the father saw more. She had style, she had flair, she was there. That's how she became the nanny. Who would have guessed that the girl we described was just exactly what the doctor prescribed? Now the father finds her beguiling. Watch out, CC. And the kids are actually smiling. Such one of these. She's the lady in red when everybody else is wearing tan. The flashy girl from Flushing. The nanny named Fran. If you still haven't made any plans for your Christmas vacation, you're mm. welcome to join me and Daddy. Oh, well, uh, you know, Mom, as tempting as a bus tour of Florida dinner theaters sounds, I don't think I could stand the thrill of seeing the Ropers do love letters. <laughs> oh, J.J. Walker's gonna be in six degrees of separation. It's not too late to change your mind. The review says it's dynamite. <laughs> oh, Niles. It's so hard planning a vacation when you're a single. Yes, it's so much nicer when you have a family mm. so you can lug their ski equipment around Vail. <laughs> Sit around the fire listening to Niles, get me a brandy. Niles, bring me a comforter. Niles, go out in that blizzard for a pizza. Niles, <laughs> what is that on your shoe, sir? Let me get that for you. Oh, right, sir. Much better, sir. Merry Christmas, sir. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I've. I've made a decision. Yeah. yeah, I simply can't risk Margaret spending her whole winter vacation with that boy, so I'm sending her abroad. Abroad? You want to swing him that way? <laughs> Miss Fine, I'm serious. I'm sending her away for three weeks. You're sending her away from her family on the holidays? She's going to Switzerland. Just her and her nanny? Alone. I'm sending her to a convent where she can learn French, art, and European history. Wow, we, that sounds more boring than I can even fathom. <laughs> and I'm actually considering sitting through a bunch of bad plays where the only dialogue I'm gonna hear is the audience going, what'd he say? I don't care. I'm